And we have just cracked the code, guys. In today's video, we have a lot to talk about, and it's all going to tie in beautifully together. Hello, everyone. I hope you guys are having an amazing extra piece around 52 and change, guys, right? 52 cents. It seems like we had a pump. Isn't that beautiful? Bitcoin above 70k. There we go, guys. We're telling this isn't financial advice. Bring upon this final explosive, like up. I'm truly ready, guys. I'm ready for this next pump. Right? Greed isn't even here. We need more greed to actually enter so people can pump these um, crypto prices up, guys, right? For alt season. Again, there's a lot of beautiful um, events on the horizon, guys. First things first, massive XRP buy volume coming from United States of America. Right? Are they about to unleash and release the bots? Let go of the bots, guys. Bring upon. The buy bots right hopefully now let me explain something guys because I, I thought about it wait a moment xrp is rank number seven nobody else will say this guys but this is how we crack the code xrp is rank number seven on coin market cap right but if alt season is near right and, and bitcoin is going up dramatically guys every other altcoins are creating new all-time highs xrp will have to pump as well they're not going to get, um make it get left behind why because if they don't pump XRP's price, it's going to fall out of the top 10. Exactly. Right? And I don't think they want, I don't think they want that to happen, guys. Like, 99% sure, I don't think they want XRP to fall out of the top 10 ranking. Right? That's fascinating, guys. So if everything, if, if Ethereum is like at 7K or, or 9K, 10K, right, XRP will have to pump probably and hopefully to new all-time highs. Right? Bitcoin. It all depends, I guess, right? So this is most definitely fascinating, guys. Very interesting to say at least. Again, this is why we should pray and hope for alt season, right? Bitcoin pumping, every asset pumping, guys, because indirectly, that should pump XRP as well, right? So Riddlers, do your thing, because now, guys, we're going to part of XRP in the XRP community. Now, this is called quite interesting. So it begins when, guys, today, right? That's that's the BG one two three mountains. Um. 6422 which would today's 64 guys right as well as we should expect the unexpected why check this out guys today is 64 and mr pool told us to um expect the unexpected right supernova i'm hoping that's what that's how uh cryptos explode in that manner guys and look at this the lady is going upwards right not down let us pump i'm ready I, I truly am ready guys i've been waiting for this moment for literally two years now right uh since the start of the last bear market okay this is crazy guys because i i'm telling you flare songbird will time the alt season right which will tie into xrp because supposedly xrp doesn't have utility until um f assets are live f assets open beta has now been launched okay I, I, what did we say guys they they flare timed the market bottom they're about to time the market all season that's my opinion though not financial advice please like today's video because i'm telling you everything ties in beautifully together and now we have brian crawling house in just a minute guys talk about ex explosive explosive news uh incoming guys but so a retroactive airdrop is planned to incentivize participation in the full F assets rollout, starting with open beta on Kostin and finishing with the launches on Songbird and Flare, guys. Right? More details will be shared in the coming weeks. Right? So, so that seems to be the game plan, guys. Um, it seems to me that's a huge check mark for what? Alt season, guys. Right? Huge check mark for alt season. Um, Bitcoin pumping. That would mean Bitcoin pumping and 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 last but not least, XRP pumping as well, guys. Right? So this is very fast indeed. Again, it seems like it begins and this ship is starting to sail. Check this out from Bank XRP. Ripple CEO at Barrack Rolling House on Fox Business, guys. Okay. So this is most definitely interesting. Why? Because supposedly an XRP ETF is just simply inevitable. And he says it's going to be taking place in 2025. But let me pull out my notes because I did watch the full uh, video, guys, the full interview. And... So Look what he CEO, says. Brad Garlinghouse in studio, no less. Oh, let's get to Ether first. Look at what he says about Ether and about all season. This is crazy, guys. <laughs> this is insane. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Green 
let we let us go. Oh, let's get to Ethan first. Word on the street is that that spot Ether ETF is, is going to come alive. It's alive uh, next month, as early as next month, maybe July. Who knows? What do you think? I, I think that's right, and I think it is a big deal just in terms of opening, further opening the markets to more people who want to access it. Obviously, the Bitcoin ETF went live in January, and you saw 10 billion. I mean, it took I think two months to reach the same level it took Gold's ETF to reach over like a year. So uh, the, the interest in this space remains very, very high, and I think the ETH ETF will do extremely well. What do you? Whoa! Oh my gosh! I can't, guys. I'm falling off my chair as we speak. Why? He said that I think the ETH ETF will do extremely well. That's music to my ears, guys. Why? My heart is racing. My heart is jumping for joy because we told you, if if if, if Ethereum pumps, guys, that's all. That's the king of all coins, right? Which will make XRP pump as well, guys. Which will make all your S coins and meme coins pump. Right? You don't need much liquidity to flow into Ethereum to pump it. I'm truly ready for alt season, guys. This all signals to me alt season. And XRP has only pumped during alt season. Let's go! What do you think is behind the SEC becoming, let's, let's just call it more pragmatic about cryptocurrency ETFs and the approval process? Well, I think the first thing is they've lost a lot in court. And so, you know, they really got dragged kicking and screaming across the line to get the Bitcoin ETF live. And I think they realized that if they were going to drag their feet and fight around the ETH ETF, that likely the same outcome was going to happen. And I mean, it's frustrating that we have to go through the courts to get those positive outcomes. The United States should be investing in these technologies. We should be embracing these from a job creation, from a technical innovation and unfortunately this SEC has been fighting it you know, every step of the way I've known you for I don't know seven years now and back then y'all didn't have that loud a voice for sure it feels like you do now so what about an XRP ETF you were speaking at the consensus 2024 conference just a week ago and right. you said inevitable not just for XRP but Solano and uh, Cardano etc etc right uh, but XRP in particular the SEC has tried to throw you down in court yeah don't you think that Gensler and company might just say now that one no way <laughs> I think it's a hard that's insane okay so 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 wait a moment folks okay if 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 there's an xrp etf my question is i think they're going to move moon it beforehand hmm right they may have to moon it beforehand if everyone's going to get in guys i don't know which is quite interesting to say the least argument with them to win. I mean, can they make life difficult? They've made life difficult for a lot of people, then they've lost in court. What I was talking about at the consensus conference last week in Austin was that people don't want just exposure to one commodity. So if you have exposure to gold, you might want exposure to silver. If you have exposure to other commodities, and so to me, it only makes sense. You don't want to have just a single threaded uh, asset exposure. So I think people also forget that it wasn't that long ago, before the SEC got involved, that XRP was the second most valuable digital asset. And that was before the SEC kind of anointed ETH. Then they couldn't answer the question, is ETH a security or not? And now they've approved the ETF. They, they contradict each other. It's very diff contradict themselves. It's very difficult to follow. Interesting guys, right? XRP was uh, second place. I told you in, uh, in in the ranking, right, of market cap. Now, 3:49 next timestamp, guys. XRP is about to take its crown back here soon. I'm ready. Are you not by nature vice though? That's the global one that a lot of people use. They charge much more, do they not? Yeah, they really are the dominant. I mean, Swift has been around for, you know, 50, 60 years. And the frustrating part for all of us as users of Swift is it really hasn't changed in 50 or 60 years. The architecture of how it works, it means it's slow, mm -hmm. it's expensive, and frankly, it's quite error prone. Uh, some studies have shown that about 6% of all Swift uh, attempts to wire a Swift uh, transaction end up in errors that bounce back and then it takes days to get it back. What about you guys? Well, the, an XRP transaction and a payment flow for us is really real time. It's instant, it's cross border. And the really powerful thing for a lot of our customers is they don't have to pre fund accounts because our customers are financial institutions. And, the way and that's how we're about to get rich, guys. Literally, right? It's, it's simply that. But I don't know how long it will take, though. I'm hoping. I'm hoping hopefully soon before the ETF goes live and everyone jumps in, guys. SwiftWorks, you're pre-funding, you have dormant capital sitting in other banks around the world using XRP, using RippleNet, our payments network. You don't have to pre-fund. When we look at uh, this this suddenly coming alive cryptocurrency, at least in the past week or so, so now we've got Bitcoin back above 70,000. Some people are making the connection between that and the Roaring Kitty re-entry into the world, reactivating his account on Reddit and saying he owns $115 million worth of, of GameStop shares. Do you, do you see any connection between his sudden emergence and all of the cryptos moving higher like a meme stock feel back in 2021 where people were also diving into crypto yeah okay maybe with a maybe what if they want us all in actually that's that's number two for the etf but listen to this guys um this is interesting because i had deja vu of ending phase of like 2017 or or like early 2018 guys um because if you look back around that time frame there are these interviews as well. This seems to me like they're gearing up for some type of price explosion here soon for XRP, right? So it's very fascinating, guys, because it gave me deja vu, like when I first watched it. Um, 
Uh, I think this momentum is really driven from what's happening on a political basis. Have a voice. You're, you're the kitten that roared in a way. <laughs> yeah. So I think it's less about the roaring, roaring kitten and more about, hey, you, finally you're seeing some of the, politi the political machinery in the United States move and act. And look, we so check this out, guys. You're the kitten. You're, you're the, what's it called? Um, well, actually, in just a second, they just called Ripple a roaring kitty, right? Interesting. Why? Because just a reminder, Gemini used a cat to promote listing of XRP. Okay, Gemini used riddles to discuss XRP. Right here, guys. Um, riddle answer: XRP perpetual contracts. Um, Roaring, Roaring Kitty, a cat, is a star of the money. The money was produced by the Winklevoss twins. The Winklevoss twins run Gemini, guys. Consider unfollowing if it doesn't resonate. Wow, that's insane, right? It is. Is XRP the roaring kitty of uh, crypto the crypto sphere, guys? Right, and we know what happened then. Retail flooded. That's the meme stock. Well, let's jump. Uh, let's jump forward in time. Seven oh seven. Listen to this. Uh, we'll be watching. Uh, okay, XRP ETF when? I think we're gonna see it. I think it'll probably be twenty twenty five. Next year. Yeah, All right. not too far away. Good to see you. Very we'll see if that you. happens and if it comes to pass. Twenty twenty five. Just a guys, day after. Our timeline got confirmed. Grayscale comes out right after currency crypto sector. Wow. So after they, they listened to Brad Garlinghouse, they came out with this right here. And Grayscale established an XRP trust this year, guys. Right. Example assets. Look at that. XRP literally states right there. So interesting. Seems like, guys, I don't know if you're if you're ready, but I am. Let's go. Right. Today is a beautiful day indeed because uh, April 22nd and... Uh, 404 right here both equal 622 right the reason being is because April equal June Roman calendar right and they seem to be happy today ready to go out not to mention today was a good day will come out too uh 514 64 right six five plus, five plus one for six and then four right there guys Brad Garlinghouse four six mirroring six four as well right so things are looking quite well here guys interesting then, today is a beautiful day because the SEC is shutting down its Salt Lake City regional office due to um, sig significant attrition. Uh, the regulator announced today, guys. Whoa. And guess what? Why is Great Salt Lake half red and half blue? Mr. Poole just got confirmed. SEC is about to go bye-bye. It's already beginning, it seems, as not to mention. It's time to rocket launch uh, XRP. June 4th from David Schwartz at Delta for today from last year. Great toy, but I have a few questions about your packaging decisions. Right? Do it, guys. Bazooka. Let's go. Right? XRP's price moving upwards. If, guys, there's so much news. I don't know what's happening anymore, but I can't sleep. And XRP as their bridge asset that connects those assets together. Right? It's happening. Why is it difficult for us to use XRP for settlement in ACs right now? So I think we have the timeline. We hit the timeline on his head, guys. Listen to this, and I'm going to explain time at first we just wanted to get as many customers as possible and we wanted to understand you know how they were using network and where the opportunities were to use xrp and digital assets for settlement um and whoa 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 did nobody see this or am i like i thought i was um hallucinating for a second guys right tripping or 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 i don't know guys what is this what is that in the whoa what is that in the background folks a moon suit is that what <laughs> Look at that right there, guys. David Schur is literally telling us Moon is soon, right? Moon is here. Moon is soon, guys. This is ridiculous. What is happening with us? And then for a long time, our focus was exclusively on customers that would use XRP for settlement. Um, today, it's kind of somewhere in between those in between those two approaches. It's difficult for us to use XRP for settlement in the United States right now uh, because of you know because of litigation issues. Um, so a lot of our you know expansion has been um, in the Middle East, in Asia, um, South America. You know, you're up for time. Oh my, and that's exactly why XRP will moon as soon as the case concludes. Why? Because everything is about to be unleashed, guys. No more restrictions, right? No more holding XRP back. And that's when, guys, I think that is summer, right? Again, ties in with all season. Let's go. Okay, big sure to read this out. Um, beneath the surface, I'm not going to read all this, guys, but he basically says, Beneath the surface, the old ways crumble, a digital dawn looms, cloaked in shadows of liberation and chaos don't you guys see right a new world is upon us guys it's so simple you guys can read the rest and decipher it yourself or think about what he's saying right here but 3 9 11 hmm what does that mean right obviously a destruction destructive number 
well, that's probably the incoming Black Swan, but they're about to pump these assets new, to new heights, and I'm cashing out, guys. Hopefully. Then he says, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. Okay. Well, as soon as I read that, I'm like, oh, just hold until 2026. Don't sell. Don't do anything, guys. Right. Because timing the market is ex extremely difficult, but we're going to try it. I'm going to try to time. Not we, but I'm going to see if I could tr try to time the markets, guys, before the Black Swan enters sell buy back in after the Black Swan and we ride it till 2026 and become literally superstars, right? Mr. Pool gets reactivated as well. Cash burning, right? Seems like a 2020 event is incoming again, possibly, right? And it ties into banks literally collapsing. Let's go, guys. I've never been more ready in my entire life. Let's pump these assets so it could reach the promised land. Has a smiley face ever been there uh, all these years and nobody's seen it, guys? I can't really tell. I don't know. Uh, I don't know, guys. I, I can't really tell. Or is he talking about these uh, smiley faces, which kind of, I guess, looks like a smiley face. 63 begins as well, guys, right? 63, 9. You guys ready for the banks uh, going to implode at some point in time? Right? 5, 8, 9. Look at that, guys. All for today. Right? Popcorn ready. Well, pump these assets first. That's all that, that matters at this time, guys. Right? Not the nature vice. The fountain for today's video. The moon date answers literally 13 if we add everything up, guys. 8. Or no, that's 5 and 8, right, guys? So, I'm ready. Are you not? I need your advice. But anyways, guys, hopefully you guys make sense. See ya.